What are non-steroidal anti-asthma agents? As the name suggests, this type of drug can be used for the prophylactic management of asthma. This means that they are controller medications that should be taken in order to reduce asthma symptoms. They are not to be administered during an acute asthma attack because they do not provide immediate relief. The two primary types of non-steroidal anti-asthma agents include antileukotrienes and monoclonal antibodies. But more specifically, here are some common examples of each type. If that's okay with you, I'm just going to say the brand names because they're easier to pronounce. But for antileukotrienes, you have Singular, Acolate, and Zyflo. For monoclonal antibodies, you have Zolair, Nucala, Fasirna, and Syncare. These medications work by inhibiting the receptors that cause certain asthma symptoms such as bronchoconstriction and excess mucus production. They also work to block asthma triggers such as exercise and cold air induced attacks as well as other common allergens such as dust and chemicals. Again, it's important to remember that each of the non-steroidal anti-asthma agents are controller medications, not relievers, so they should not be given during an acute attack. Real quick guys, do me a huge favor and hit the like button. It really helps support the channel and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And while you're down there, go ahead and click the subscribe button as well because we have a ton of other videos on our channel that I think you will enjoy. Just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for educational and informational purposes only. And if you want to dive deeper and learn more about this topic, you can go to respiratorytherapyzone.com where we have a ton of free study guides, practice questions, and other helpful resources. I'll drop links to everything you need right below this video down in the description. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Have a blessed day and as always, breathe easy my friend.